Hey there, Gabriel Burofato from GB Voice Academy, your voice coach to help you master the American accent. Now, on this video, I wanna focus on a particular sound that a lot of my clients with different accents across the board have issues with. But this particular sound is something that puts an uncomfortable stop to that air flow I was telling you about, that flow that you need to move from one sound to the next. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get access to all of these videos to help you master the American accent. Now we're going to need our trusty paper again. This is the key to mastering that flow of air to create these sounds that we're gonna be talking about. Specifically, I wanna talk about the letter F sound. Again, as you can see, this requires airflow, something that a lot of languages just don't have, so it's strange. So why don't we specifically look at how to physicalize this sound, how to create this sound, and then at the end of this video, we're gonna put them all together in structured sentences and phrases so you could retain this information. You gotta get up there and you gotta do it with me. So, I want you to bite your lower lip, mm, like this, mm. Now relax it a bit, not too tight, and I want you to support from the diaphragm like we're talking about in those earlier videos, right? I want you to make sure that we're engaging for the diaphragm and let that air flow out. Do it with me. Feels weird, doesn't it? But through that support, you'll be able to sustain it. Now let's bring in this paper into question. And let's do the same thing. Support, lighten up on that biting of that lower lip and let the air flow. I gotta see that paper flicker in order for that air flow to be consistent. A lot of people tend to cut it short. So let's work on some words with this F sound. But again, I want you to elongate that F just a little longer than usual. Work with me, ready? Here we go. And make that paper flicker. Food. Friend. Fix. Good. Let's put a sentence together with those exact words. My friend will fix some food. Now, you're not gonna go out in public and start They're gonna think you're hyperventilating and need to go to the hospital. But by practicing it that way, when you're then structuring it in a regular conversation, my friend is gonna fix some food it's going to flow versus my friend is going to fix some food. Friend fix food. You feel that? Good. Let's continue on with this game. You're doing great. And stick around because I got a couple of more I want to go through with you, okay? And then we'll put them all together. Frank. Thought. Freedom. Now let's put that together into a sentence. Now remember to elongate that F more than usual. Frank fought for freedom. You should feel kind of dizzy. That's a good sign. That means that there's air flowing in certain areas that you're just not used to doing. Now let's link it together in a more of a normal pace. Frank fought for freedom. See how easier that is? What this F exercise does is it forces you to relax because if you tighten up too much, you can't do it. It's a question of relaxing this, still structuring the sound, but relaxing it enough so through the support of the diaphragm you will allow the air to flow. You hear that? Good job. Moving forward to the next one. Forgetful, Fred, Forgot figs. Very good. Let's put that together. Elongate that F still. Forgetful Fred forgot the figs. Good. Let's put that together in more of a regular pace. Forgetful Fred forgot the figs. Excellent. So Google words with the F sound in there. Artificially elongate that F until your body gets used to it. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I always talk about. This is about airflow. You could learn American sounds. You could imitate it. Congratulations, that's great. 
but you need to make sure that you could flow from one sound to the next. This is a key thing that a lot of people forget and that I focus on on this channel. So then you could get what you're learning and be able to put it together into combinations like a jigsaw puzzle. So you can flow from one sound to the next. Now let's put this F sound into structured sentences that we use. It's not often that we talk about Fred forgetting his figs. Let's use particular phrases used say in the workplace. I'm gonna say it normally and then we'll slow it down and really try to lock in those F sounds. Hey Frank, don't forget to photocopy those files. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Let's slow that down. Hey Frank, don't forget to photocopy those files. But you hear that even though I'm at that speed, the airflow is still there. Hey Frank, don't forget to fo We gotta let it flow. You don't hear it because it's so fast. Americans speak so fast, I know. This is the number one issue I hear from a lot of my clients. But just because they're speaking fast doesn't mean they're taking shortcuts. And that is what an accent is. An accent is people taking shortcuts because they're not used to that quick of a transition from one sound to the other, so they take shortcuts. And that's where your accent is. So what you gotta do, like I say in all my videos, slow it down. Look under the hood, see what's really going on. Get that flow and then eventually speed that up. Let's try that same thing again, a little faster. Hey Frank, don't forget to file those photos. Good, let's do it in real time. Hey Frank, don't forget to file those photos. See, they're still there, fuh, 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 fuh. Excellent. Feel free to phone anytime. What was that? That was so fast, but the F's were still there. Feel free to phone anytime. You feel that? Do it with me, nice and slow, emphasizing those F's. Feel free to phone anytime. Good. Let's do it again in time. Feel free to phone anytime. Good. See, with practice, it gets easier. Versus, feel free to phone anytime. Fee, 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 fee. What happens fee, is that we get into this fee, where we spit it out versus allowing it to flow out. When you see that letter F, I want you to imagine flowing water. Literally. That's going to help you put together ah, the F sound. I need to flow like a river out of my mouth and into these sentences. Good job, last one. Stick with me, you're doing great. We finalize our financial statement and we feel confident it will fulfill our goals. That was a big one. But don't get intimidated. Just because it's long and windy doesn't mean we can't do it. We can conquer it, just slow it down. Let's slow that down, elongate those Fs. We finalize a financial statement and we feel confident it will fulfill our goals. Yeah? Let's speed that up a little more in real time. We finalize a financial statement and we feel confident it will fulfill our goals. We finalize our financial statement and we feel confident it will fulfill our goals. <laughs> you hear it? The flow is still there. It's microscopic, but it's there. We can't take shortcuts. We got to get down to the microscopic aspects of these sounds to really give you that authentic edge. So now before you go, we're not done yet. I want to do some exercises with you using the A, E, E, O, U vowels. Bring out your trusty paper, starting with FA, FE, FI, FO. Foo. Excellent. Let's put that together a little faster. Fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. Excellent. And as you're doing this again, I want you to imagine a free flowing river. A little faster. Fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. A little faster. Fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. And it's good to go up and down in your range so you don't get stuck. Fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. Because when we speak, we express ourselves. We use different tonations. So let's go high. 
Fa fe fi fo fu. Good. Let's go down and then up. Fa fe fi fo fu. Excellent work. Please work on that. This, in addition to the other videos I have on this channel, together will help you get that much closer to mastering the American accent. We don't take shortcuts in this channel. This isn't about cheating your way through because when you're in an intense conversation or if you're in a meeting or an argument or whatever, when your emotions take over, all that stuff will go out the window unless you've practiced it and it's in your body. Remember, this is the Accent Reduction Gym and I'm your personal trainer. Also check out my five-star best-selling accent reduction course. It's got reviews from people all over the world and has revolutionized the approach to accent reduction. You can also check out my other five-star best-selling communication courses to take your communication skills to the next level. And follow me on social media so you can also see my short-form content that covers day-to-day -day communication.